Hi guys, welcome to this quick review of this Chiku J65 Pro Gaming headset. Yeah, it's a really fancy, nice, beautiful, sturdy headset. You can see that it comes even with this built-in lights. I mean, the lights are not something which you can change or so. It's just cycling through all these colors here. We have also some illumination here and here. Very, very beautiful. But if you want, uh, you can turn off the light here with this button. Turn on and turn off. But that's about it. Here we have the volume regulator. And here we have a microphone mute button. That's it here regarding the control. It's a nice control. It's good quality control. When you change the volume here, there's no cracking sound or so very good uh, quality I would say the cable itself is not very long but usually long enough by the way it's compatible with PC and as far as I heard also with PlayStation 4 and 5 I've only tested it with PC and it worked really great so you can just plug it in like here on the laptop and then wait for maybe a minute or so depending on the speed of your PC and then it will install all the needed drivers in the background and it will automatically activate the microphone here and activate the speaker from here so you don't have to change any audio settings usually but of course you can download the driver from the GQ site that's the driver.gq.com here we have the driver Dolby surround driver for the J65 that's the J65 what we have to do I have found it a little bit difficult to download so I wanted to show you that when you go to the Windows 10 you cannot click here it won't do anything you have to right click on it and then copy the link address you open a new tab and then press Control V and then you can see there's a window zip you just hit enter and then it will download it you extract and then you install the software and then you can do a lot of things I mean as long as you don't need anything special you don't need it I heard that there was an old series of this headset like until November 2021 which had very very low microphone sensitivity and what you can do here you can uh, boost the microphone input here I have the new version I have tested it and it has very high sensitivity in the microphone so I don't have to do actually anything it has already good sensitivity and it has very good quality also the audio is very good I've been listening to the audio of this headset and it was really really good it has this large 50 millimeter drivers so it supports ultra deep bass sound it's incredible really really nice what you hear and uh, it's very comfortable to wear you can see it has these nice really, really innovative uh, fly pads which make it very adjustable so the length of the top bracket here cannot be changed it is as it is but it fits from very small heads to very large heads I mean I have very large head I would say it's about between L and XL and it fits perfectly for me then the brackets are in this position if you have smaller head then they stay in this position they are very very nice balance they will adapt perfectly to your head size also very important we have this really nice cushion here around and of course here also very comfortable cushion and the size of the ear cups are very large so the ears will fit inside so there's absolutely no pressure on the ears that's very important so really comfortable really stylish the microphone sits on the left side so it's not one of the microphones which you can switch to the other side and then have on the right side you will have it on the left side it's not a full function gooseneck or so which you can uh, adjust in all direction and it will stay there but you can see you can move it around and definitely adapt the position very good it doesn't have windsock but it's actually not needed I have tested the microphone and it worked really really good one of the best microphones which you can get at this price point I'm going to play that now for you so you can see how good this is Chiku J65 microphone test 1 2 3 4 5 Chiku J65 microphone test 1 2 3 4 5 
So I hope you have been able to hear that. For me, it's definitely very, very good. It has a high sensitivity and it picks up the voice very natural. So people will be able to easily understand you. And also they will be able to identify who is there, who is talking. That's also really important. It has very, very clear, natural sound. I love this thing. So most of it works really good. Does it have also some disadvantages? Yeah, not a lot. What I have found here, of course, uh, usually it would be really nice when you press the mute or like here you go to the off position then it would have been nice to turn off the light. But you can see uh, there's no change here between the on and off setting. And also there's no change here, no matter what you do. So it's not visible in which state you are, if you are in mute or in normal position. But I mean, usually it's not a problem, you know what you're doing. But it's just a small suggestion, maybe for an update or so, when they make a new version. But apart from that, for me, it has been an awesome headset. Works really good. I can highly recommend it. And so I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description. So you can check it out and load it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.